Now let me explain you that how do you deal with outliers of a numeric variable. So let me first explain you that how do you detect an outlier. Boxplot is the tool for that. Boxplot is available in SAS or in any other statistical package and it will produce a chart like this where this is the lower part of the box will be the first quartile means 25th percentile value means that particular value where 25 percent value is less than equal to this value and this is your third quartile means that is that smallest value where less than 75 percent of the value is less than equal to this particular value you'll also get median which is 50th percentile the distance between third quartile and first quartile is called IQR interquartile range this minimum and maximum is where ideally data should look like minimum and maximum it is not from the actual data that you will see this minimum and maximum now using this IQR and this quartile you can actually detect outlier easily anything which is beyond third quartile plus one and a half times of IQR you know so if you think of here you are one and a half time of IQR will probably take you here should give you possible outlier anything which is first quartile minus 1.5 times of IQR which is smaller than this should give you possible outlier and anything usually like which is beyond three quartile three times of IQR so essentially anything which is greater than Q3 plus three times IQR Q3 plus three times IQR or anything which is Q1 minus 3 times IQR should give you most probable outlier not the probable outlier possible outlier most probable outlier and these are indicated by star in in SAS these are the outlier the, this is how usually like SAS or R lets you know that there is an outlier now this can be an extreme value observed value may not be an outlier but actual value but still for your data mining purpose these are the extreme scenario which ideally should not be part of your clustering data analysis so how do you deal with outlier usually by flooring and capping what is flooring anything less than this is this only anything above this is this only that's what is capping capping is upper side flooring is lower side so how do you do that usually by removing observation with extreme value so essentially if you have 15 let's say 1.5 million record and there are 75 extreme values you actually take those 75 observations outside and develop your model on cluster model on 15 1.5 million minus 75 record because that's what will help you you should investigate the extreme value because this at times will throw you useful insight about fraud about extreme behavior all those things but that's like a separate investigation you're doing it because you're learning some of the some of the extremities of the business some of the frauds of the business but definitely that's not part of the general clustering analysis that you want in case you have many numeric variable and it can happen that you are starting with 300 variable and you don't have time to really go through each and every variable and detect that and you need to move on quickly what you can do you can say any value which is smaller than one percentile floor it to one percentile very much like this if x is less than x zero the one percentile value of x make it x equal to x percent one percentile value let me show you by number so let's say x has one percentile value of x is coming minus 320 so you can say when x is less than minus 320 x equal to minus 320 so any value which is smaller than that has been floored to minus 320 similarly you can say that anything which is greater than 99 percentile cap it to 99 percentile value so like x calculate the 99 percentile value of x 
and if it is greater than that you just put it like this so for example if x is greater than 940 and 940 is the 99 percentile value then x equal to 940 so what will happen 945 10,005 everything will become 940 that's a quick way of doing essentially when you have many variable and when your time does not permit you to go through all variables also keep in mind at times you know you intend to do replacement like capping as x plus or minus 2.56 into sigma approach I will recommend better than that go for the percentile approach because this sigma actually gets affected by outlier so the better thing would be that you calculate the percentile 1 percentile 99 percentile and if in a hurry try to use this value that's how you will deal with the outlier and you will prepare your data to take it to the clustering to the cluster analysis